We'll pray for the pilot that Keith doesn't break into the cockpit and try to witness to him. <laughs> because that's now against the law. <laughs> but anyway, I have some announcements for you. we have to make, Betty Sue's going to correct me on these. One is Young at Heart on Thursday night, right? Six o'clock. Logan. Thursday night. Thursday night. Thursday night. <laughs> uh, and the entertainment is Logan and Angela. No, Logan's court. Angela is Robert's niece. This is the fiance of Angela. Logan's court is the entertainment. Okay. <laughs> So she's not part of the Okay. I met her because she was going to be the Oh. Okay. I can read that. So the Southern Hospital is in need of blood. Uh, donate blood tomorrow between 10 and 3. Save a life. Of course, you know, all of you know that uh, blood is, is running short because the people are not giving blood like they used to. There's a sign up sheet in the foyer. If they have to bribe you with a t shirt, they will. Um, also, prayer meeting on Wednesday night at 6.30. Um, kind of important. I know it isn't to a lot of you because a lot of you don't show up on Wednesday night. But um, God's hand might move a little stronger if you might show up in your life and maybe you might not have as many problems as you face through the week. Uh, of course, you have your heart again at uh, 6 o'clock. That's the time mainly of fellowship. We do have some entertainment. Uh, but also give you an opportunity to get to know one another a little bit and, and our different walks with the Lord. We're all in different places on that. Uh, but we're all enduring the same life on earth. It's a school. It's not a prison, but it is a school. And so we learn from one another. And, uh, of course, the government wants to change the time again uh, next Sunday. So be sure and spring forward, I believe, which means uh, I believe we lose an hour of sleep now, right? Yeah. They do that to keep us off balance. Our government's good at that. Um, uh, also, uh, we're, be prepared for the Baptist party. And I guess that's what, three weeks from today or two weeks from today? Three, yeah. Three. Three, okay. And this is where we're providing bandages to a hospital in Ghana. And there's a little more about that in their bulletin. It's a great work that uh, these people are doing and they definitely need us. Uh, we don't do enough mission work, in my opinion, overseas. We've kind of lost focus with that with all of our internal problems here in the United States. But anyway, this is an opportunity for our church to help with that. And also, uh, the day before, it looks like we'll be going to eat catfish in Springfield, and that'll be the, the van will be leaving the church at 11.30. Uh, you'll make your way to Springfield, which is about, what, an hour from here? 45 minutes, something like that. But anyway, you can see Mike and Betty Sue, and they can, they can tell you all the details of that. Again, a time of fellowship, which I think is we get closer to the last days that uh, we're going to need more and more of that. But anyway, we'll end up at Merrill's house. Also, the Annie Armstrong Easter offering. Now, I believe Annie Armstrong is a Tennessee uh, offering. Is that correct? North American Mission. North American, okay. So that, that money stays in, in Canada, the United States, if you're keeping up with the stuff at all. You know, Canada's having a really tough time with the dictator that they have in charge of their country. Um, but anyway, they're having a really tough time, especially Christians. They're arresting pastors and, and people like that up there. You may not be aware of this, but the laws up there are really getting vicious, especially towards Christianity. Um, and. Uh, also make preparations if you'd like to go fishing or just be uh, accompanying uh, those that do fish to uh, Real Foot Lake and Discovery Park that I don't know a lot about. That's coming up in May, God willing. And you can see again Mike or Daniel on that. Um, and I love that picture of the finch. I hope you put up finch feeders. They're showing up again. Go ahead. Uh, Patty and Robert and the Church of the Advent would like to invite everyone to come over this afternoon at 4 o'clock uh, for a concert and the reception afterwards. And it's free. So if you'd like to attend, you're more than welcome. That concert is, at, it begins at 4 o'clock. Is that right? Yes. Precisely at 4. Okay, we'll show our best. Uh, we're going to see the Jesus Revolution. I would encourage you to go see that. That's about the move of God in the 70s. And we're praying, we're hoping that this move that we see at Asbury is uh, another uh, 
a copy of what he did there where he had to go outside the church. This time he's going to come inside uh, school, but he's coming through young people, uh, meeting the Lord uh, in special ways that they did not deem possible. I was one of those people who didn't believe that it was possible and didn't find out for 20 years that Jesus actually existed, walked and talked to and Captain D's and all that kind of stuff. Um, but anyway, he is who he is. And we've just celebrated his life and his sacrifice here. This is a sacred time. Hope you've had a time of reflection. Uh, as we've, we've seen with the home going of our brother Don, we're not going to be here much longer. <laughs> Don't get too comfortable with a place that's not your home. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare to meet thy God. You remember those old signs? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. In a lot of ways, a little bit nervous in a lot of ways. It's, I think all of us should be. But hopefully, uh, for the grace of God and the justice of God, we'll arrive home safely. Let's pray. Father God, we want to thank you, Lord, for the service today. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for the power of your presence. Um, we do continue to pray, Heavenly Father, that your spirit will continue to move. And as Brother Keith has preached, Lord, that you would find us worthy vessels, Heavenly Father, to work through. We do pray for your power to be manifested in a place we call Mill Creek Baptist Church. We think about all the saints, Heavenly Father, that come through this church and sacrificed, Heavenly Father, for this church. And they did this, Heavenly Father, because they loved you and loved your people. And so we pray, Heavenly Father, that once again, as you touch other communities and other colleges and, and all the places, Heavenly Father, that we see outbreaks of your Holy Spirit, that your Holy Spirit may break, break out here, Father. You can prepare our hearts, Lord, to receive that spirit. Help us, Heavenly Father, to walk in repentance. Um, and Brother Keith said, but some seals we're not even aware that we're carrying with us. So expose those to us that we can repent of them, Lord. And again, Heavenly Father, we are looking for the pleasure of your company. In Jesus' name, amen.